safe crossing Neyland Drive on the Second Creek Greenway. Since the Boathouse Bridge collapsed in October of 2018, users have to cross Neyland Drive with traffic rather than utilizing the underpass and going under the road. Bridge Solutions, a group of civil engineering students at the University of Tennessee's Tickle College of Engineering, we are tasked with evaluating the feasibility of installing a new bridge at this location. A third-party evaluation has estimated rebuilding the bridge would cost about $500,000. Those initial projections prohibitive to a new design, however, safety is the top concern for the University of Tennessee and Bridge Solutions. Now, Neyland Drive, a highly utilized roadway and is part of the Cumberland Avenue Corridor Project, the designation for State Route 158 was switched from Cumberland Avenue to Neyland Drive. According to traffic data from the Knoxville Regional Transportation Planning Organization, this area of Neyland averages about 15,000 vehicles in average daily traffic. It was as low as 13,000 in 2013, but has steadily increased since. After speaking with Greenway users, it appears the pedestrian signal for the crosswalk is servicing the roadway well. Anecdotally, users stated the light switches quickly and does not negatively impact their experience. Regardless of the current service level, the Boathouse Bridge completely bypasses Neyland, making it a safer option. Through our investigation, we discovered that during major events at Thompson Bowling Arena and other venues along Neyland Drive, the light is switched to a flashing yellow and flashing red light disabling the pedestrian signal. There is an obvious safety concern with disabling signals for the pedestrian crosswalk that could be avoided if there was the Boathouse Bridge. While the Boathouse Bridge bypasses traffic, there were safety concerns associated with the route as well. As designed, the bridge offered only 6 feet 6 inches of clearance from the railroad bridge overhead. Clearance provided does not meet minimum design guidelines from the Federal Highway Administration. Eight feet of clearance is recommended as a minimum with 10 feet being standard. Another concern for the Boathouse Bridge is the underpass. There's a significant amount of graffiti in the underpass, and we've had reports of safety concerns from Greenway users about the space. We receive recommendations the underpass needed better lighting, police patrols, and UT Mernsey Blue Phone stationed in the area. Flooding, also a major problem for our region lately, and Second Creek has flooded into the underpass during these heavy rains. Even if repaired, the bridge may have to close during significant rain events. While the goal of safety is complicated, removing points of conflict between motorists and greenway users is the safest design option. We appreciate your time and welcome any feedback you might have for this project. Here's some questions you can consider. Do you feel safe crossing Neyland Drive? Do you feel safe using the underpass and Boathouse Bridge? Are there other safety concerns that you've noticed for this area? Are there other improvements or modernizations you'd like to see at the Neyland Drive Second Creek Greenway Crossing? Again, thank you so much for your time. You can leave any feedback in the comments section below.